Okay. <laughs> this is going to be one of those gratuitous rant videos. I have a lot of people that tell me that they like it when I rant and like foam at the mouth like a rabid dog. And of course, you'll never see me doing that. By the way, have you ever tried dried mango chips? Well, they're not chips. They're soft and juicy. They're not like chewing on a piece of rawhide. <laughs> God, these are really good. I had to go out and buy a couple more packages. Someone's going to say, oh my God, that's got sugar in it. Yeah, well, whatever. Everything's going to kill you, right? So let me do a review. I actually had a few people tell me in an email that, uh, oh, they're talking about you over on the Fujifilm board. Really? Because I made a prediction. Not a prediction. That the uh, X-T3 Fujifilm would have a 28 megapixel backside illuminated sensor. Well, somebody knows something. <laughs> and that person is me. Um, let's get to the facts here. Okay. By the way, I have two appointments tonight for tech support, and I'm not charging anybody anything. One of my appointments, literally an appointment. I like make phone call appointments now. It's like, yeah, call me. One of them tonight is at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Here's a fact. I have w a bit over 4,700 videos. Okay? I get an average of about, oh, I don't know, 80 plus emails a day. Sometimes it's a lot more, sometimes it's a lot less. Okay? Yeah, there we go. I answer a bazillion tech support questions, and no, I'm not saying I'm walking on water here. Just chill the hell out a second. Um, I don't have any affiliate links. I'm not selling anything to anybody. Not t-shirts, not ball caps, you know, no crap. And uh, no, like, $7,000 workshops. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that guy's doing that. $7,000 workshops. <laughs> yeah, come hang out with me. $7,000. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Um, here's a fact. 4,700 videos plus. Okay? And by the way, this is the way discussion boards work. Now, whether it's photography or philosophy or metaphysics, and I've been hanging on them for years, I actually like to go there for information because I'll see a lot of stupid things that someone will say or people will say. I was like, you know, that make a great idea for a video. Apparently a lot of people don't know the answer to this. So I actually do use that for uh, informational purposes. But these places, they're run kind of like a little miniature fascist regime. And I'm not talking about one board. I'm talking about all of them, whether that's photography or anything else. These are discussion boards. You have these uh, little fascist dictators that are moderators, and they dictate what the hell goes on. And then you have all these peons, of which are two different varieties. One of them actually is an independent thinker, and they soon learn that independent thinking on a discussion board is a big no-no, because everything is about groupthink. Moo! Bah! Sheeple! So you have a bunch of people that move like lemmings. Kind of like you've seen the birds like all move at once. Groupthink! Groupthink. GT. A really, really evil thing. This is actually how the Third Reich actually started in Germany. You get a bunch of people, and I'm half German, okay? But, <clears throat> yeah. When you get a bunch of people that are like, yeah, I'm just going to follow what everybody else does, you know? That's, 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 that's where the seed of evil always starts. Anyway, these discussion boards are evil. Generally speaking, now there's a lot of people that just go there to hang out and, like, talk photography. And I'm not talking about just photography boards. But here's the facts. Like, I was the first person to review the X-T2. First person. I had, like, 50 videos, which I even was surprised about, before anybody else even had one. I was. I literally was. Same thing with an Icon D500. I mean, I was able to jump on it before anybody else, and I was cranking videos hot and heavy. Um, Nikon D5. I wasn't the first person to get my hands on one, but... The one thing that all of these things had in common is that I made really, really bold predictions. I don't have the D850 yet here, but I have the D850 Nikon camera. I was the first person cranking out a bunch of videos on the D850. Well, one of the first. I think I was. Um, everybody told me I was wrong 
in the predictions that I made about these cameras, they said, you are just flat wrong. Um, Nikon D500, I said, this camera is going to, Nikon is going to sell the bejesus out of this damn camera. Oh, no, it's a $2,000 crop sensor camera. You're so full of crap. Well, my prediction was 100% accurate. And then some. I said, uh, it's going to be a legendary camera for Nikon, and I don't use the word legendary easily. I said the same thing for the Nikon D850. Nikon D850, there's still like a month waiting list to get a D850. I said, everybody's going to love the D850. Um, they're they're going to want it. Some people don't necessarily need it, but I said Nikon will just sell the piss snot out of it. I said of the X-T2, a bunch of things, including actually, depending on the lens, slightly faster autofocus tracking than the D500, and I proved that in a video. Fujifilm has absolutely sold the hell and back, and then some, twice over, ten times over, of the X-T2. Um, my lens recommendations, my feedback, on my, especially considering that I've got an acidic personality, you know, I'll see stuff on these boards, and uh, it's not like I'm lurking, I'm looking for information that people are talking about, it's like, well, that'll be a good I idea for a video. You know, people that absolutely can't stand me, I hate him, but I bought a lens off his recommendation, and I really love it. My feedback on my lens recommendations is incredibly high, and you see, I don't even, I don't sell any of this crap. Not even a t-shirt or a ball cap. So all of these little um, cockroaches or lemmings on these photography boards that are always bitching, complaining about me, I tell you what, why don't they, and I'm speaking to them, put up, and this is where everybody's going to say, oh, just ignore the haters, and I know about ignoring the haters. But anyway, to those people that are always commenting, and you know, I understand what I look like. I know I'm covered in tattoos. Who gives a damn, right? It's just ink. Um, pretty damn smart. Actually, I'm extremely smart. Um, don't know anybody else that translates ancient Greek for fun. I would like to see any of those cockroaches make 4,700 videos, answer a bazillion emails for free. I never tell people, like, I'm going to answer your email if you send me some money. I've never said that to anybody ever. By the way, the worst emails are when people send me, it's like not a question or two. It's like, it's like three pages long, and I'm just like, Jesus, you know, do, do, don't people even realize? I mean, it's just like sticking a knife in my soul. It's like, you know, I'm glad to help, but don't write me a three-page letter full of like 50 questions. I mean, some people will write me an essay and I'm just thinking, did they stop for like five seconds to realize that I don't even have a time to take a leak? I mean, I mean, that's really depressing. I would like to see these people that are always pissing and moaning. You know, why don't you make 4,700 videos? Why don't you answer a bazillion emails and take phone calls in the middle of the night? You know? Tech support, otherwise help, repair. I just got done building something for some guy. A really awesome guy, by the way. It's a fiber optic ring light and shipped it out to uh, California. He's really awesome. I mean, I built it for a reason. I mean, the guy's just epic awesome. You know, talk is cheap. I would love to see like 4,700 videos out of all the cockroaches on the photography forums who piss and moan and whine about how much they hate me or how I'm not a credible source. You know, let's just work off of percentages here, which that's what they do in sports, and I'm not a sports person at all. Okay? My percentage is insanely high. It's off the charts in the stratosphere, around the moon, and then again on lens recommendations. Flat out, period. You know, I would like to see them repair cameras for 20 years and test thousands of lenses, literally, and repair lenses, and personally own. Uh, now it's over 500 lenses. I would love to see them do that. God, talk is so cheap. What they should say, if they had a half a damn brain, is that, you know, I hate the guy, he's ugly, he's tattooed, I don't like his voice, but he's trying to be helpful, at least he's not pimping crap and doesn't have 47 affiliate links, 
you know, underneath this video where he's trying to peddle his crap. Do you know I've written eight books? And of those eight books, actually four of them are Greek translations, two of them are Prakrit translations, two on field theory, a couple articles, all of them are free. F-R-E-E, -E, free. I would love to see them do half of what I do. You know, talk is so damn cheap. I'm actually not pissed. I'm just, don't these people, you just take five seconds, well, they have no idea, you know. There's that old saying, you got to walk in someone else's shoes for a mile to see what the hell you're wrong about. And of course, we all make those mistakes, you know. You know, sometimes we'll, like, see some sort of, like, uh, like person in the mall, and you could just tell immediately, like, oh, my God, that person is just, just absolutely bat crap crazy. You could just tell within, like, ten seconds, this person is just nuts. And we don't know. You know, that person could have been molested as a child and beaten their entire life, so you don't know, you know? We all judge people without knowing a damn thing about them. You know, I'm guilty of that. I, not as much as other people are. Um, really, I'm not. I'm actually very accepting. Extremely accepting. Um, I don't like uh, people... Uh, this would probably get me a lot of hates, but I'm going to say it anyway. It actually pisses uh, me off to actually... And I get these comments once in a while. I don't know if people like think I'm some sort of like right-winger or conservative or something like that. I sure the hell I'm not. I have no interest in politics. I'm not on the right and I'm not on the left. I'm a hardcore Platonist. I'm on the side of common sense, logic, and wisdom. And it actually pisses me off. You know, life is short. It doesn't matter how old you live. Life is short and full of fucking misery. And I actually can't stand it like when people in the live stream or whatever will make uh, snide comments about um, sexual orientation or uh, gender identity or any of that stuff, like some sort of, uh, you know, that pisses me off, you know? But uh, I'll just tell people just like, hey, you know, don't say stuff like that, huh? So, I actually kind of cleared that up, I guess. I don't know if people think I'm on the right or I'm on the left. or I'm not on either side. I never want to be on either side. I'm always on the side of common sense. At least I try to be, you know, as much as possible, unless I'm incredibly worn out or something. So to all of those lemmings, those human sheeple, those cockroaches on the photography forums that are talking about, uh, you know, my credibility or reliability, my batting average, I use a sports analogy, um, hit rate on lens recommendations, Especially on camera recommendations. Everybody told me, too. I said, the Nikon D5 is going to sell for crap. They said, oh, you just can't afford it because it's 65. I said, no, this camera is going to suck ass for Nikon. Told, no, 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 that's a flagship camera for Nikon. I've got four flagship cameras for Nikon. Here's one of them, a Nikon D4. Still a really expensive camera. I said, no, the Nikon D5 sucks ass. And they're not going to sell many of them. It's just... No, it's it's just got issues. 20 megapixels, optical low pass filter, no way, no how. It has the worst base ISO dynamic range of any DSLR. That's not my opinion. That was a reported fact sometime about a year ago. I was 100% vindicated on it. I was 100% vindicated on the Nikon D500. I was the first person reviewing that. I made bold statements about it, which proved to be 100% accurate. Same thing on the X-T2 Fujifilm. Um, same thing on a lot of lenses. Tamron's really killing it. Um, so, all those moderators and nut jobs on the photography forum, you know, I don't care if they hate me. I know what I look like. I'm sure my voice does suck, you know? But, you know, I don't have affiliate links flying out of my fanny. And I'm not out to screw anybody. And I'm not out to pimp crap. I'm not selling hats and t-shirts and, you know, all sorts of weird freaking Chinese plastic crap with my logo or my motto. I don't have a frigging motto. You know? Don't even have one. So... 
I like for people to be happy. I like them to save money. And uh, been fixing cameras and lenses for over 20 years. Been tearing stuff apart and fixing them. All sorts of different stuff. And uh, everybody has their own bias, but uh, I can do a better job of evaluating a camera than they can. All the rest of them can together. If you think that's egotistical, guess what? I don't care. But I would love to see them make 4,700 videos. And I will sit back and I will pop some corn. And then I will go down the list of all the mistakes they make. Because I have, despite my voice or my appearance or my personality, which I guess is like sandpapering your crotch, which is probably true, I've got more experience than they do. And I don't have an ulterior motive. And of the few times that I've heard people say that I'm looking for publicity, if I were looking for publicity, I would be kissing everybody's butt. I saw that twice yesterday, and some thread some point of me people pointed me to. They said, "Yeah, it looks like these people keep saying you're seeking, uh, you know, fame or, uh, um, uh, you know, publicity." Are you kidding me? Who out there is stupid enough to think I'm looking for publicity? If I were looking for publicity, I would be. Captain Fake. Hi, how are you doing today? This is the wonderful, happy channel of photography. I love you. I had my camera on today. I'm going to talk about how much I love you. I can't pull that crap off. Because it's fake. If I were looking for publicity, I would be a miserable, pathetic suck-up like everybody else. Trying to kiss everybody else's butt and become popular. I can't stand this, uh... This, um publicity uh, content. Everybody's in competition with each other. It's like, how many Instagram and... I'm not even on Facebook. How many followers do you have? Like, who cares? Real question is, is how accurate are you? And how intelligent are you? How much do you know about the subject? And can you be reasonably communicative to be helpful to somebody? I'm really sure that's slightly more important. This social media crap. And YouTube is social media. But I'm not going to play that damn game. I can't even believe some of those knuckle dragon cockroaches on the photography forum would ever think that I'm seeking publicity. If I was, I'm way, way more intelligent than to uh, put on the persona that I do to represent any desire for publicity. If I were looking for publicity, I sure as hell wouldn't act this way or make videos that way. They would be like, hi, how are you doing, everybody, hi! And the hell with that crap. <laughs> I'm not going to make videos like that. Be helpful, be logical, be intelligent, be reasonable. Boom. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, girlfriend. Pause for ten seconds there.